I know that the tendency to speed is there if there's no speed breaker. I know that this makes a difference because it slows them down. New speed bumps and more safety measures on the way for this Burnaby Road, where a 14-year-old girl was hit and killed by a truck in May. It's a neighborhood with a high school, two ice rinks, and it's set for huge developments in the next decade. While the girl's death spurred new safety measures, residents still worry about safety in the future. And the impacts obviously are most devastating for the families, but it also affects everybody else in the community. 14-year-old Muska Bazad was walking home from school with her friends when she was hit by a dump truck on May 5th at 11th Avenue and 16th Street. She had recently immigrated from Afghanistan with her siblings and mother, and she was the family's oldest child. My daughter teaches at Burn Creek, which is the, high, the community high school just down the way. Um, there was another death at an accident at 6th and 10th Avenue where one of the students was lost, and it, it, it hurts. This is 11th Avenue, which is right beside a trucking warehouse and sees a lot of traffic. Residents say for now, the new bumps are making a difference. It's a pity that um, someone had to die before this happened, because it ought to have happened way before now. The neighbors are thankful that more safety improvements are being added, an asphalt sidewalk, new signage, and potentially more speed bumps. But until next week, no one can park in front of their homes for 24 hours. Residents are still trying to park here after work, and they say they're getting parking tickets, even when construction isn't happening. So each ticket is uh, $64, so we're just asking the city, you know, give us a window. So at least we can park in front of our own home without getting ticketed at night. The city of Burnaby didn't respond before broadcast. Joyce He is prepared for a lot more construction traffic because this whole area is being developed for a community center with 15 towers that could take up to 15 years to complete. I, I hope all drivers know that when you're passing residential, just, you know, slow down. And especially we have here, we have trucks coming in and out. Sometimes they're just flying through the street. It is not safe. Councillor Mike Hillman says he wants to see all car fatalities in Burnaby cut to zero by 2050. So it means more sidewalks, it means putting speed bumps in as you're seeing here on this street, but it also means putting the proper controls around speed. In Burnaby, Kier Junos, City News.